Hello, this is Cedric Green, and today is December the 17th, Saturday. It's the time, as you can see, on the wall. I got this something to show you. It's just kind of a short video, so here we go. I went and picked this one up. Oh, yeah, and also look what else I picked up from my favorite store. I bought me two more Vision lithium ion phosphate batteries from them these two right here all right so we're gonna have a total amp hour output of 400 amp hours at 12 volts or 200 amp hours at 24 volts or 100 amp hours at 48 volts from vision batteries as you can see my favorite store has some more as you can see Like they had like 12 more of these, but they are, but he's selling them as a kit for a, a whole solar set that got sold to them. But I can't afford that, so <laughs> I wish I can buy some more of these from them, you know. But he said that all the rest of them is a set though with the Soul Perks 50 watt Monte Crystalline solar panel. Okay, let's do the unboxing. You can see, I open it, and I pull it out, voila, there it is, it's the fusion module, of course it's a 50 watt model as you can see, you need two of them to get 100 watts, and all that. <laughs> Look at that y'all. And here's the accessories that came with it on the back side, as you can see. Well, here's the cable for from the solar panel you can plug in to your charge controller. So, and here's the accessories that came with it. As you can see. First. It's the charge controller that came with it. PWM charge controller with three leads on it and three lights on it right here. The indicator lights, as you can see, this lead for the solar panels hooked to. You plug this into here from the solar panels. And this lead goes to the batteries where these battery clips plugs in right here and then you can clip on your battery or wherever 12 volts load you got and we got this last lead right here that it says right here goes to your 12 volt the lights and anything that works out for 12 volts and this is the cable that plugs in it right here as you can see and then you can hook your loads down like your lights and lighting and 12 volt appliances or well, you know, they're all gonna be fed off the battery and the solar input, you know. And you got the three indicator lights, as you can see right there. Red, when this is lit, it's indicating that the solar panel is coming in and this middle green light for the battery indicator means you're getting power from the battery through here. And this last green indicator lights mean you're getting power from it to uh, run your uh, 12 volt appliances, you know. Of course, this is a 12 volt a PWM charge controller, as you can see. And I would prefer you to buy a much better charge controller than this, like an MPPT charge controller, so you can get better power handling than this, you know. It also has some mounting brackets so you can mount it on on the wall or on the roof or on on top of a shed or something, you know, as you can see. And here's the solar panel right here, as you can see. Here's the instructions for it, as you can see here. Here's the different, the different models of solar panels they have available. As you can see, this is the model right here, the 50, what model? 
This is a 50 watt model, monocrystalline and very good in sunny conditions, putting out voltage of more than 21.7 volts. Okay, here's the back of it. As you can see, here's the first specifications as you see right here. Let's check it out. All right. All right. It's monocrystalline, as you can see. Monocrystalline. Best for low sunlight applications, you know. Other than the uh, the parlor, you know, this is a monocrystalline. Better than the parlor crystalline, so. Let's take this outside and see how it performs in the sunlight before the sun goes down at this time of day. All right, we're outside right now in the sunlight. We have a place in the sunlight on this table right there. As you can see, when we get the evening sun, I don't want to shine the light and burn up my camera. So uh, here's my voltmeter. We're going to get a reading. How much voltage are we getting out this thing in this sunlight? Take the lead, as you can see. Okay, I set it to 200 volts. And let's see what the voltage is as of now. Here we go. Put the plus in there. And we got 22.7 volts, 22.8 volts. You see that? 22.8 volts from this panel. You're gonna need this because the voltage is 22.7 volts coming out of it. That's too much for a 12 volt battery, as you can see. Let's see how much it is when you hook this PWM charge controller to the solar module. What I do is just plug this into this lead that says for solar for the PV modules you can see just plug it in right there as you can as you can see we've got a light on here indicating that the solar module is working and putting up uh adequate uh voltage as predicted on the specification on the back of it All right, let's see how much the voltage is coming out of now from the PWM uh, charge controller unit right here. Put the plus in here. And the voltage is saying 5.5 5 volts. Though. I guess because the sun is going down, as you can see, it should be more. You know, this it's got this evening sun. And this is a PWM cheap charge controller. As you can see, if you have a MPPT charge controller, you get twice as more. You, you get uh, the 12 volts, the 12 to 13, 14 volts necessary to get the batteries charged out of a MPPT charge controller other than this PWM charge controller. So if you're getting into solar for the first time, this is a perfect PV module for a first beginner, uh, at least a 50 watt solar panel, nothing less, all right? Order from Amazon, you know. And I would suggest to get a better charge controller. This one came with the panel, as you can see. Just get you a nice MPPT charge controller. Other than this here, you know, you get better results out of it because a PWM charge controller like this is although it's working so it's showing the inputs but the lesser voltage coming out as you can see let's do it again it's at 5.1 volt that's pwm if it's a mppt charge controller you get your 12 13 14 volts out of it 
you know, to charge the batteries. You can just plug this in here to this lead right there. And you can hook these to your, like your lights and stuff also, you know. Or you can hook these battery cables up, as you can see right here also. With two of these right here, that's, that's for, let's say the batteries right there. So the battery lead. And then you can just clip these on your battery, your car battery or something and, and charge it up during the daytime, as you can see. So this is great. So thanks everybody for watching. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. And so everybody stay safe. Sayonara, Jogin, Zaijin. Adios. Varashe, sayonara, and be good to yourself. See ya.